What's good, y'all? Welcome to 11% Tutorials. Today, we're gonna be teaching you guys how to create this sick flying 3D object effect. This effect is crazy. I've always wanted to know how to do this, and I don't know, I just never took the time to like actually try it. So this is a crazy one. It's used a lot in music videos, specifically shout out Space Hearts for throwing this effect out. Dude, y'all check out their videos, insane work. Before we get started, if you guys are new to this channel, please make sure that you smash the like button and subscribe. It's free, all this content is free, so it really means the world. Also, if you got any questions or concerns, please be sure to leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. All right, guys, so now that we're inside of After Effects, and the first thing that you're pretty much gonna do is you you are going to identify the keyframe where you want your object and item to cut into the frame. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this chain right here and I'm just going to mask it out. First thing I'm gonna have to do is obviously split the layer. So hit Command Shift D to split the layer. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hit Command D on this bottom left layer right here, which will be our object layer. And what you're gonna do is you're going to come to this very last frame right here when it's going to cut into the next frame and we're going to right click it, we're going to hit time and we're gonna hit freeze frame. Now you have a nice freeze frame, hence the name. You're going to zoom in and now what we're gonna do is we're just going to do some simple basic masking. Now this is where it helps to have, you know, really high quality footage. Right here I shot this in 1080p, but we are gonna be using a lot of motion blur, so it's really not going to make that much of a difference. I'm going to use my pen tool to make a simple, nice, easy mask around the chain right here. And once we have the pendant nice and cut out, there we have our nice isolated chain. The chain links up right on this cut frame. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to animate it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click this chain frame right here and we're going to hit this 3D icon right here. And now you'll see we have a whole new set of tools right here. But before you do any of that, the first thing you're gonna do is you're actually going to set the anchor point of the 3D options to the middle of our chain pendant right here. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drag our pendant or whatever object that you cut out directly to the middle of that. So just that we have full direct control of everything. Now that we have that lined up, we're just gonna drag it pretty much back to the center. It honestly doesn't even have to be like super on point, just as long as it's, you know, in the general area. Now we have a 3D cutout linked chain. Now as for the fun part, which is time to animate it. And now this part I really love because you can really just do anything that you want with it. We're gonna hit the drop down on this, make sure you're on the drop down. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to hit the X, Y, Z rotation and the position and scale. Now what I'm gonna do for this animation is I'm gonna have this chain pendant start like all the way up here at the top. I'm just gonna kind of zoom out as well and just drag it around just so I can have it like really, really close to the camera. Now you can see that because we're using 3D space, uh, this item obviously works like a 3D object. So I dragged it out all the way here and you can see that in our video footage, really static and cheesy, but let's go ahead and add some more animation to it. What I'm now gonna do is I'm going to adjust some of the rotation. So I'm gonna spin it a couple of times, maybe on the X and Y. And now you can see we have this cool looking spin twist world thing. And that kind of looks cool, but it's still very, very slow and just cheesy overall. Now what I can do is I can hit the graph editor tool right here and then I could select certain objects or the position or rotation or whatever it is we wanna adjust. And we can adjust some of those keyframes as well just by just dragging around these anchor heads. And this will just create some other different cool, unique looking effects. I could do the same with the position over here, which I might just cr increase to this nice little like upside down parabola. And honestly, just mess around and just have fun with the anchor points. You know, you know, different values are gonna create different effects, but the goal here is to just really have fun with it. If you need it to be faster, you can even drag your keyframes even closer together and then just start your clip at that start of those keyframes. And now you can see we have a much faster effect. And one of the last things that you don't wanna forget to do is to make sure to hit the motion blur icon on your freeze frame chain right here. So this is our, our pendant right here. I'm gonna hit this motion blur icon and you can see now that as this thing moves, there's, there's some motion blur to it and it definitely looks a lot more realistic as if this chain were actually like this floating flying object that's just spinning around. It just looks really cool. Now it's time to go ahead and add some effects. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to add a basic glow. If you have sapphire glow, you can totally use that. But for the sake of this tutorial and how I like to do things on 11%, we like to make everything just for everybody to use. So we're just using some After Effects glow right here. I'm gonna mess around with the intensity and threshold. And there we kind of have it. I'm gonna also add a hue saturation just because it's kind of orange right here and I just don't really want it to be that orange. So I'm just gonna decrease the saturation just a tad bit. Perfect, there we have a nice cheesy looking chain effect going on right here. And what I'm gonna do to get a cleaner effect is I'm gonna go right before this pendant ends and I'm going to keyframe the glow threshold and glow intensity. And then I'm gonna drag to the very end of the clip and I'm going to decrease 
them both to zero. This way we have a nice fade out effect going on right here. And what we're gonna do is we are going to add some radial fast blur right here. We're gonna hit the CC fast blur. This is also after effects effect. This one's like kind of a cool one because it just adds this like extra level of outward glow to this effect. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna once again keyframe it. So I'm going to just set this whole thing to zero for the majority of the clip. And then right, right here, when it hits the chain, we're going to hit a keyframe. I'm gonna zoom in just so I can get some more control. And then I'm going to increase this blur up to like 60 and then back down to zero. And that way we have this nice low out as soon as the pendant hits the chain. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to first select all of these clips right here. I'm going to right click them and I'm gonna pre-compose. You can just name this base layer. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit layer, we're gonna hit new, and then we're gonna hit camera. You can name your camera whatever you want. I'm gonna name mine Billy. Now we have a 3D camera that we can actually create some movement going on with the scene right here. I'm gonna come over here to these transform values. And what I'm gonna do is I wanna create some nice like like zoom out effects going on right here as this pendant hits the actual chain. So I'm gonna come right here, right to where they link up. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit the keyframe on just pretty much all of these rotations and orientation values right here. And before you actually animate, I actually almost forgot. Remember to hit the 3D icon right here on your bottom base layer, just so that your camera can actually use this 3D composition. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to zoom, we're gonna come to the beginning frame, and I'm just gonna zoom all the way in right here on this hoodie. And I also might just add some like spinning orientation. And that way when we play it out, we have this crazy zoom through effect going on right here. I'm gonna hit the graph editor real quick just to blend these in. Hit the orientation and the position just so I can get some nice as is. And now if you play that through, we already have this crazy effect going on right here. Now it's time to add some of the last effects, which are just our radial blur again to our base layer, just to add some spinning effects going on to when our chain hits. I'm gonna drag this anchor point to the center of the chain, and then I'm just going to decrease it to maybe about seven. I'm gonna hit a keyframe. I'm gonna find when the pendant hits the actual chain, I'm gonna give it a keyframe, and then I'm gonna go a couple frames before and then just decrease the amount to zero and then do the same thing with the other end just decrease the amount to zero so that way when it hits we got this crazy blur going on right here i might even extend these as well so we have this blur and it just really enhances the effect finally one of the last effects that ties in all together we're going to add we're gonna search for a slider. We're gonna add this to our base layer composition. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click off of this graph editor, hit the drop down, hit the drop down on transform, and then hit hold option. And we're gonna hit the keyframe icon with position. Now this is gonna be a very, very simple expression. What we're going to type is we're gonna type wiggle. If you see wiggle come up already, hit enter, and then we're gonna hit 10 comma, and then we're gonna drag this pick whip tool and drag it to our slider. That was a lot of steps going on right there. Rewind it if you have to. But what we basically just did is we created a virtual camera shaker. If you drag this up, you can see our footage becomes a lot more shakier. We're gonna use this when our chain actually hits. So I'm gonna move this up, the scale up to like 30, hit a keyframe on that, go before, hit zero. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side of keyframe. I'm gonna change this to zero as well and boom. When the chain hits, we have this new crazy shake effect and it just really ties the overall effect together. And lastly, you can't end the 11% tutorial without it being our favorite time, overlay time, woohoo! It's overlay time and you know what we're gonna add. We're gonna add some electric sparks to this. What I'm gonna do, I just have this spark preset thing which you can find in the description below. I'm going to change the rotation and I'm just going to put it exactly where the chain is when it hits. I'm gonna hit layer change the blending mode to add. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna create a simple quick mask around this feathered mask around this so that we have no harsh edges. And now when that chain hits, we have this nice spark effect going on. You can of course add so many other things to this, so many more glow effects. This is a very, very extremely simple version. There's so much more you can do with this. You can add effects to the pendant as it's flying in. You can add effects to the bottom layer. You can add effects to the base layer, or you can even add more overlays. There's so much fun stuff that you can do with that. And with that, here's the final result. If you guys made it to the end of the video, thank you again so much for watching. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe, notification bells on, y'all know the deal. If you guys have any questions or suggestions on what you'd like to see from us in the future, definitely leave a comment down below. Love to hear what you guys have to say. Also be sure to follow us on Instagram at 11%prod. We love to see what you guys make. Once again, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.